Hello. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Did you get up this morning and say, I know who I am? Did you say, I know what day it is? Did you look in the mirror and try to cheer that person up in the mirror? You did? Oh, I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Because, you know, that can be a challenge. A challenge. Let me tell you. Come here, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Gunner wants to get up in my lap, I think. Now, I don't know really. No, he's not smoking a cigar. That's his chew bone. <laughs> oh, he's in a sassy mood this morning. He had a, he had a sausage link. He did. <laughs> yes, you did. You had a sausage. Give me that. Give me, uh, don't you let me have that. Okay, you can have it. All right. All right. Now you can sit in my lap if you want to. You can sit in my lap while I talk to my friends. Oh, my, I got to keep my dress on here. Here we go. <laughs> well, hello, and I hope all of you are doing well. <laughs> I'm finally online. I'm telling you, it's been an adventure. Do you know when the... I know you've all been through this this winter and during storms. And you, you've been, experienced the same thing I have without power. Yes, without power. But I continued to crochet a little during the day. Because I saw Mikey saying, you know, keep crocheting. Keep your mind clear. <laughs> but I'm... I didn't have any ice. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to tell you my trauma. <laughs> you say, Mima, I've been there. i done that. I know you're going to tell me that. But I'll tell you, this is my first experience on the ninth floor of a high rise without an elevator. Yes. And it's been four days. Okay. We got our electric on yesterday. Yes. Now, we had no hair. It's been a it's a hundred today. I think they said it's gone. So we got our air now. So I'm I'm happy. I'm very very happy uh, about that. But I will tell you that someone walked all nine flights up. Uh, the manager or the assistant manager and our co our coordinator and the president of the tenant association. They brought us ice. You know I could have hugged their necks. And I should have. But I was so excited about getting that ice. I, now, you know, can you remember when you were kids? Now, come on, remember. When you were kids, how hot it got. But you didn't know it was hot. You just knew you were thirsty, right? And you wanted something cool to drink. Ice water, a dipper in a bucket, any kind of water. Or just lift it and throw it on yourself, you wish. You know, all these things. That's the way I felt. Now, I had water. I sure did. You're right about that. And I did splash some water on me several times on my balcony, which the neighbor below told me the other day she felt water from above. And she, she knew it was had to be for me. <laughs> but I was soaking my clothes and stuff, you know, keeping myself cool. So I did manage to do that. But it was stifling without air conditioning and... Connor just couldn't figure out. Now he wanted to go out. And I kept saying, now Connor, we have to talk about this because the elevator is the only way we can get down. Now they have stairs going down, but I, there's no way I can. Uh, I probably had to roll down them. I mean, if I had to, I guess I roll down or fall down. Maybe I'll just jump off the balcony. It'd probably be quicker. <laughs> anyway, but they said it was so dark you had to have flashlights. And it was a, a hard journey for them to bring us ice, which I bless them for it. And I thank God for them. And uh, I, I spread best, all kinds of blessings on them. I was just so happy. But it was a, an experience, you know. And uh, so, so then my daughter calls. Of course, you know, she's got damage at her house. And she doesn't have any electricity. She got hers yesterday, too. But one thing about it, if you have a phone, you don't have electricity, there's no way to charge it. I, I wanted to put my phone on a string and drop it down down below nine stories <laughs> and give it to someone to charge in their car. 
But the bad thing is I didn't have a charger that would go in the car. <laughs> But I was working on, I thought, maybe yarn. If I made a chain long enough, just a chain out of yarn, I could just drop it down. You know, use a bag or something. Because, you know, if you tie on to it, it'd probably fall down. But I guess I'd be fishing for somebody to charge my phone. Because you couldn't talk to anybody when your phone was dead. <laughs> then I couldn't, I couldn't make videos. I said, oh my gosh, everybody must think I've just died. <laughs> probably. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I survived. Yeah. I didn't have TV. I did some crocheting. I splashed myself with water. Uh, Connor and I talked, and he still wouldn't go pee pee in this house. I don't know what he did. I, maybe I might find it eventually that he's done something in the, in my apartment, which is very small. But uh, I mean, I can't even find that shirt I ordered. I told you about. I had it, and I couldn't find out where I put it. And I was going to give it to somebody, and I don't know what I did with it. One of these days, it'll show up because it's. You know, it's not worth returning to Amazon. It was on four ninety nine or something, free shipping. One of those, uh, what is it, the splash deals or day deals or something. I'll never do that again. I'll never do that again. But anyway, yeah, there. Were, some people brought pizza in, and get this. Okay, the energy people, or uh, yeah, I guess it was en energy or first electric. I don't know which had brought pizza, you know, for everybody that was, because we couldn't cook in our apartments or anything, so they they uh, brought pizza. By the time it got to the ninth floor, there was a half piece and another half a piece, and it looked like somebody eat off of it, and, uh, but, you know, I had, I didn't have to cook anything. I, I had some cheese, and I had a can of tuna, you know, I had enough to eat. I was okay with that. I even ate my apricots. <laughs> that was good too. But uh, what was I getting at? Oh, so they're downstairs, and somebody, uh, this is somebody told me, says the people get bringing the pizza downstairs, said, We brought the pizza. You'd think they'd come down and get it. <laughs> now, I don't know who this person was and if they really said that, but that really shows a lot of stupidity, don't you think? And I don't think some people think the whole picture. You know, they just say, the pizza's here, why don't you come down and get it? They don't think about, okay, we've got a 100-year-old lady here and a 90-year-old lady here, and we've got lots of ladies and gentlemen that are in wheelchairs and... <laughs> walkers and they can't go down the steps out of the elevator. I mean, you have to stop and think how people think. It's so silly. <laughs> oh, and then they had one lady and she was walking around because she was lost. <laughs> she couldn't, the elevators weren't working and she's she's getting a little bit of dementia or something, you know, was working on her. And uh, she couldn't understand why she could not get around. There wasn't any elevators. There was. She couldn't wash her clothes. She couldn't watch TV. She couldn't cook her toast. <laughs> she couldn't talk on the phone. And she just thought that's, that the world had come to an end. It was just sad. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have to laugh because it's so sad. So sad. But I'm telling you, when the lights came on, the world was, all of a sudden, everything fell into place again. And you know, that's why, how anything that worries us, anything that gets in our life that really messes us up mentally, you know, like, I don't know, some people say, and you take it earnestly, and they don't need a minute, they didn't need a minute, they were just trying to get to the bathroom because they're peeing in their diaper. I mean, you've got to think of all the things that people go through when they're talking to you. And then you go up to, you sit in your apartment and go, well, I wonder why they said that to me. Poor pitiful me. I wish I could change it. Maybe I'm a bad person. Blah, 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 blah. And you might be all those things, but don't think about it. There's nothing you can do about what somebody else thinks of you. You do the best you can and you just keep on moving on. Yes, I'm still working on on square, uh, granny squares. 
and I may have to give this up for a while and do something else, but it sort of makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something one at a time. <laughs> and that's okay. And that's okay. I hadn't even been able to yet listen to my audio books, and I really miss my audio books. And, but yes, they said it was going to be up, way up in the hundreds today, which is pretty hot for here. And we still don't have uh, air conditioning in the lobby, so I've got towels and stuff under my door because I want to keep my air conditioner in my... That's sort of selfish, isn't it? But this is what I'm going to do. Because me and Connor need to be cool. And I think I'm cool. You know, that heat and getting hot all the time really is hard on a person. You know, your body's trying to cool itself. You're trying to drink enough water. You're trying to you know, keep functioning, and there was a day we didn't have air conditioning. I know, I remember it, but still, we survived, and we had some great memories of sitting out on the porch, and fanning ourselves, and talking, and petting the dogs, and, well, the dogs farting too, you know, <laughs> you know how they do, chickens walking around the yard, neighbors walking down the street, you know, with their umbrellas, or their Oh yeah, people sitting drinking a beer out there front underneath a big tree. In fact, this morning I went for a walk, took Connor around to the playground here, or our yard, and somebody had moved a chair under a great big old tree. And I was thinking, that is so, if it was a straight back chair, I'd just lean it back there and sit there all day. Because <laughs> underneath the tree is always cool, you know. And it was hot, but it was cooler under the tree. Bless the trees. And I noticed that one of our trees was struck with lightning. It was a smaller tree. I don't know what kind of tree that was. It looked like a, a lilac or something, but I'm not sure what it was. So Connor went out, and we checked the garden, and, and the uh, cu 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 cucumbers had moved all the way. They've been climbing and climbing, and they're about onto the trellis. And blooms, I, I had never seen the amount of blooms on that cucumber. I sure hope, I'm sure counting on those cucumbers. Yeah. One of the girls says, I want some cucumbers. She brought me the seeds, you know. And she said, I want a milk of cucumber, because that's the way I like to eat them. And I said, well, good for you. We're going to have some. But I did uh, go out into the garden and uh, retrieved this, um, one strawberry. It was about the, uh, twice as big as your thumb. Washed it when I came in and ate it with my breakfast this morning. Yeah, it's going to, toward the end of the month, I'm going to have to buy some groceries because we lost a lot of things in, you know, that I had in the refrigerator because it got so warm in there. Yeah, if they'd been a little quicker on getting the electric on, it would have been a lot better. But there you go. That's just the way it is. You have to deal with it. Just like, you know, if it's cold weather, I could have just set them in a container outside on the porch or something. But I didn't because it was too hot. But anyway, I've got stories to tell. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. You know, I tell you the story about my brother. My little brother was about, oh, I guess he was three and a half, and he had a pair, he had those striped coveralls that uh, uh, railroad people used to wear. My dad, my mama had got him. And he had a little baseball hat, and he had his little tie up brown shoes that come up over his ankle, you know. And, had a little shirt on, he, and he, and Daddy had got him one of those, well, he found a car, one of those cars the kids paddled under, you know, and, you know, paddle, 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 it looks like a fire engine or something, I can't remember what the, his looked like, but anyway, he, he was out in front of my Daddy's shop there along the highway, and he was, his, my Daddy was a mechanic, and he had a little store there that, you know, people coming from St. Louis and going to Memphis would stop and get a soda water or pop or snack, peanuts or something or orange and put their peanuts in their orange box, you know, drinks or something, you know, it was just a stopover and the people had, and he fixed the cars. And so my brother, 
Let's see, I must have been, let's see, he's five years younger than me. So, anyway, if he was three, I was eight, eight or nine. Anyway, so we're sitting out there on underneath the daddy's garage cover. And my brother's sitting in his little car. And he, he, he said something like, I've got to fix my car. So he went and he jacked up his little car on I, blocks or something. I don't know. Just a little kid. I mean, maybe he was four. I don't know. But he stacked that little car up. And he got underneath it, you know, on his back. Like he, he had his tools, his little tools. Daddy had got him, you know, little tiny wrenches and stuff that... Well, Daddy already had. They were real tools. So, anyway. <laughs> My brother was underneath that little car. And he crossed his legs. You know how you do when you're under the car and you cross your leg? <laughs> And the and I looked and I thought that was so funny. Because my Daddy was over there underneath a pickup truck. And he was laying on one of those things you slide underneath the car under. You know what I'm talking about? And he had his legs crossed <laughs> And this one lady and her husband had stopped there at the gas station where we had a little store. And uh, she said, I've got to have a picture of that. That is just too adorable. <laughs> and to this day, I wish I kn knew who took that picture so I'd have a picture of my little brother when he was fixing his little car. He... <laughs> A memory I'll never forget, but I'd love to have a picture. And if anybody knows that somebody took that picture, I, I would treasure it. Treasure it. But this little boy laying underneath one of those little boy, you know, little trucks that they were paddling, you know. He got his little legs crossed and I'm fixing his little car. It was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss my brother. He he uh, he went to Jesus a couple about four three four years ago. That's been five now. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe. But he uh, he he was a funny man. He was he was so funny all the time. He just had the base sense of humor about anything. Nothing ever worried him. Nothing, nothing done. He just, he just lived his life and he was happy. He was happy. Yes, he was. Even when he, on his dying bed, I'm telling you this is true. He was telling jokes and laughing at him up until his last breath. And he had everybody in the room. They're crying, but they're laughing at his jokes. He, I think one of the la it wasn't a joke. It was stories. He says, "I told that man if he turned that screw the wrong way, it's going to pop down." And sure enough, it did. He should have listened to me. It was something like that. I thought, That's my brother. <laughs> oh, I miss him so much. Miss him so so much. That uh, <laughs> a little car. <laughs> Did you ever do anything like that? You had such a pre pretend world. I had a cousin, her name was Linda Kay, and uh, she loved her little kitchen. Her, uh, We were six, I guess, and Uncle Jimmy, her daddy, bought her an oven set and a talking doll, if you remember. At first she had that tiny, you know, tiny, what was it, uh, the tiny tears? She had tiny tears. She had all the fancy stuff. She really did. And he bought her a stove so she could cook and little cups and saucers and stuff like that. And so when I'd go over to my cousin's house, uh, we'd have tea and she'd cook cornbread and stuff in that little oven. Had her little apron on. She looked just like her mama. <laughs> just like her mama. And you know, she came to a bad end, though. One Sunday, I guess it was Sunday or Saturday, my mama got a call, mom and daddy, and uh, she had been shot. Linda K had been shot. She, Her, her uncle was uh, on her mother's side, was out shooting... A stray dog 
and Linda Kay was supposed to run the dog out in front of the in front of the uncle to shoot the dog. Well, when she ran out to she protected the dog and she got shot in the head and died. I tell you, I didn't think I was ever going to get over that. Ever. You know, I was just a little kid. We were six. This happened. She was seven. Yeah, so I was seven because we were all born at the same time, about five cousins after the war. Uh, all my uncles had daughters. But anyway, yes, but I can remember her. Just a sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Kind. Not, even though she had all those fancy toys, she was always so sweet and kind. Yes, I guess the Lord just wanted someone that kind to come up to heaven to be with him. And you know what? This is so sad. They put a beautiful headstone under a cedar tree. And that's where she was buried. The bed a little silver. Well, the cedar tree is big now. Of course it is. It's, what, it's 60, 70 years old. Almost 70 years old. Somebody had shot her beautiful picture. They had embedded her picture into a frame on the head there with a little angel on top, or, you know, a little lamb and angel. And it was so terrible. Somebody, here she was, shot in life, and then they shot her picture and cracked her picture of her on that headstone. Things happen, and we just don't understand why. People do things, and we don't understand why. And we're not supposed to, I don't think. I think we have to learn to accept what's going on and just keep on going. I'm sorry I'm in such a negative mood. I don't mean to be. I'm in memory lane because I've had a lot of time to think. I really have. I've just been by myself, me and Connor. And... Uh, and having air conditioning, I am just so happy. Yes, I need to pick up my house now because I've sort of just let things go because it was too hot to move around, you know. Because you got hot very fast. But I think that I need... Oh, I was going to get to comments. There's so many sweet comments out there today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to... Should I make them on this one or should I? Let me just make another one, okay? Just remember God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, the birds, the bees, the flowers, and the trees, and for each other. Because we're all in this great big world. Yes, we are. And you are special, don't forget. And now my next video in a minute, I will do one on our comments because I want to read what you guys have to say. I've missed y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>